Hey guys, it's Coach Warnock and I'm here in my home studio kind of relaxing and doing some work to make music for our workouts and videos and stuff like that. It's one way that I help reduce the amount of anxiety that is building about this brand new school year. COVID's kind of punched us in the face the last two school years, so you might have a lot of energy flowing through your body right before school. Maybe it's anxious, um, excited anxiousness where you can't wait to see your friends and you can't wait to get back in the building and not have to wear a mask and all of that. It's an excited energy. And maybe it might be a little bit of fear anxiety or anxiousness. Fear anxiousness where that energy is like, I don't know, is my teacher gonna be nice? Are the kids in my class gonna treat me well? Am I gonna remember where to go? You might have that kind of energy that's kind of bubbling under the surface, kind of like butterflies in your stomach. That's how a lot of us old timers refer to that. Oh, you got the butterflies. Well, what we want you to do is use the tools that we've been working on for several years now, the mindfulness tools and other aspects of keeping yourself calm so that those butterflies don't turn into dragons. Dragons that are burning you out and have you gripped with fear and with anxiety. That is really big, scary anxiety stuff can really get a hold of you and make you not think clearly. And we don't want that. We want you to be able to stay calm even when you've got the butterflies so that you can grow and that you can get stronger and build your confidence because you're an amazing person. And think of all the things that have made you anxious and given you butterflies before. You maybe have been butterfly scared about riding your bike. You may have been uh, butterfly anxious about jumping into the pool or swimming around in the pool. There's a whole host of things that you may before in your life that you've had those butterflies and you've done a great job of succeeding. That you controlled those butterflies and you kept them from turning into dragons and it builds your confidence. So that's what we want you to do. I'm gonna share some mindfulness videos and I want you to just take deep, cool, and calm breaths when you start to feel those butterflies turning into dragons and know that you have a whole school of adults who really care and love for you and want you to be able to carry those butterflies and get stronger and grow bigger and better and able to do more things with confidence because that's what we want you to do. So have a good night tonight. Take deep breaths if you need to. If you feel those butterflies turning into dragons, take your time to take deep breaths and stay calm. Play the guitar, ride your bike, draw, whatever activity can help you stay calm and keep those anxiety dragons away and just hold on and be confident with those anxious butterflies. Sounds like a child's book in the work there, Butterflies Turning Into Dragons. Maybe one of you kids ought to write that for your classmates. Butterflies, keeping butterflies from turning into dragons. Sounds like a good idea. We're gonna see you tomorrow, and I just want you to have a great night's sleep and know that we can't wait to see you and welcome you to a great year and sleep well. We'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, I almost forgot. One of the biggest ways you can keep your anxious butterflies from turning into anxiety dragons is what you're eating. So make sure you don't eat a bunch of sugary things this, uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. Make sure you're eating good foods. They're gonna help you stay calm and relaxed and not hyped up on sugar. Because when you get hyped up on lots of sugar, that really makes it, it speeds up the chance that those anxious butterflies are gonna turn into anxiety dragons, and you don't want that. So eat right, sleep well tonight, get up and know you're gonna be surrounded by people that love and care for you and want the best for you. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.